in this module i will discuss about interactions of genes epistasis and plectrophy what is gene interactions the term gene interactions is often used to describe the idea that several genes influence a particular characteristics bateson and punet obtained the evidence of gene interactions in breeding experiments with the domestic breeds of chickens there are three important breeds of chickens one is wendots with rose comb brahmas with pea comb and leghorns with single comb when brahmas and wendots are crossed a new comb shape develops which is termed as walnut bettson and punet he has carried out a breeding experiment with these domestic breeds of chickens when wendot with rose comb crossed with brahma with pea comb in the f1 generation hybrid obtained and it was walnut walnut shaped comb capital r small r and capital p small p so here two dominant genes are present capital r and capital p when two walnut breeds hybridized in f2 generation in f2 generation he obtained walnut where two dominant genes are present that is capital r and capital p when two dominant genes r and p presents it develops into walnut shaped comb so out of 16 nine were walnut three rows three p shaped comb and one with single so there is a total ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 of which 9 walnut that is two dominant genes are present r and p on the other hand in rose shaped comb only one dominant gene is present that is r r on the other hand in p there is p dominant gene is present on the other hand two recessive genes are present in single shaped comb that is rrpp in this breeding experiment bettson and punet demonstrated that interactions of two independently assorting genes can affect a trait such as comb shape in chickens so here multiple gene interaction is responsible for a specific characters that is comb shape in chickens epistasis epistasis occurs when effect of one gene or gene pair marks or modifies the effect of another gene or gene pair so the alleles in the first locus are said to be epistatic to those at the second locus on the other hand the alleles at the second locus which are marked are said to be hypostatic to those at the first locus bettson and punet performed an experiment on inheritance of flower color in sweet peas let's see what is that experiment he crossed bettson and panet that is two white strains of sweet peas 
So one having capital C C small P P and another with small C C capital P P. Now in the F1 generation, a purple colored flower obtained with two dominant genes, capital C and capital P. When these two purple colored flower self-fertilized in the F2 generation, purple and white colored flower obtained in the ratio of 9 is to 7, that is out of 16, 9 purple colored and 7 white colored. So when two dominant genes are present, it becomes purple. When one of the dominant gene is present, either C, C or P, it becomes white. While when double recessive is present, that is C, C, P, P, it also becomes white. The explanation has been provided by Bateson and Punet for this epistatic pattern of inheritance. Now when two dominant genes C and P are present, they are responsible for the synthesis of anthocyanin pigment. So when two dominant genes are present, they are responsible for this purple pigment synthesis. While when one of the dominant genes when present, that is only capital P, no purple pigment is synthesized. That is when also only one dominant gene C is present, also no anthocyanin pigment is synthesized. Even in double recessive condition, CC, PP, no anthocyanin pigment is synthesized. So explanation is provided by Bateson and Penet is that the recessive locus CC they are epistatic over the dominant allele that is CC is epistatic over P while small PP it is also epistatic over capital C. Bateson and Penet's work established that each of the recessive allele is epistatic over the dominant allele of other gene. Another interesting aspect of the mechanism of inheritance is pleiotropy. What is pleiotropy? Pleiotropy means a gene that influences many phenotypes. When a gene affects many aspects of a phenotype, it is said to be pleiotropic. We can give an example of pleiotropy from a metabolic disorder that is phenylketonuria or PKU, which is an autosomal recessive mutation. Now, in this disease, metabolic disorder, phenylalanine is not converted into tyrosine due to, this, due to the autosomal recessive mutations. Now, persons afflicted or affected with phenylketonuria, they have different types of phenotypic effects. One is mental impairment or mental retardations. Second, phenylketonuria, these mutations also interfere with synthesis of melanin pigment as a result of which persons suffering from phenylketonuria, they are light skinned. Third, the urine and blood of the person affected with phenylketonuria contains phenylalanine derived metabolites or a large amount of phenylalanine. So this is the pleiotrophic effect that is a gene can influence many phenotypes. Bateson and Peonet 
made an important discovery on the mechanism of inheritance after rediscovery of Mendelisms. So their contribution has added a milestone in genetic research. In this module, we have provided key concepts of the module, quizzes, study materials, and suggested books for reading. Thank you for attending our online course.